Don't hang up. What movie is this, Chris? I clicked on this video because I was curious what this movie was. Well, this is a very limited release horror film that I went out of my way to see today because I like the idea of seeing movies that no one's really talking about. This opened in like one theater in my entire area. Very, very small release, and I hadn't heard much about this film. This film is about a group of pranksters who run a YouTube channel, even though it's not really YouTube, it's this movie's version of YouTube, and they prank call people, and eventually they get really good at it, and they get a lot of followers, but they go way too far. Until one fateful night when they get a call from somebody saying that they are going to be pranking them, except their idea of a prank involves a lot of murder and death and scary things, and the tables are turned now. I honestly really like the concept of this movie, and that's what got me into the theater today, because I like the idea of a bunch of people who are doing something that's very stupid and very dumb, and they eventually have to reap what they've been sowing, which is a lot of pain and misery for people. That concept alone, I think, is a really cool idea for a horror movie, and there are a lot of other horror films where you have a bunch of asshole young people doing things, and you kind of just want to see them all brutally murdered by some old over-the-top slasher villain. This isn't something we haven't seen before. I just like the idea of it being kids who are pranking innocent people having to eventually deal with the repercussions of doing that. Unfortunately, I found this movie pretty bad, and a lot of it is due to the acting. This is very... Very bad acting, and I'm not the kind of person that likes to zero in on people and trash people in reviews because I, I just don't do that. I, I try to look at a film and I try to respect the people who make it, and in this case I see a very low budget horror film that's not opening in too many theaters, and I see a filmmaker who is clearly really trying to make a good film because there is actually a substantial amount of effort given to the direction in this movie. This wasn't like a bye-bye man where the entire film just feels like they set up a camera and aimed it correctly at <laughs> the people and made sure everyone was in focus. There is actually an attempt to create some interesting sequences in this movie, and you can tell the director is trying to boost the material that this screenplay is, because the screenplay itself... <sighs> How do I put this? Uh, it's just one of those movies where the lights turn off every few minutes, and you never know why. Somebody somewhere has a master switch to this house and is just playing with every light bulb in this fucking house constantly. Every time characters get scared and walk into a room, the lights just turn off inexplicably, and they're like, Oh, oh shit, okay. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna look around really, really quietly. Hey, who's that over there? Who are you? Oh, you're just a member of the crew. Oh, how'd you get in the shot? But let's get back to that acting. I admire anybody who tries to make a movie, and I admire anybody who gets behind the camera and has the balls to act in a film or direct or write. That's hard to do. It's not easy, especially when you're dealing with a big studio system. But this acting's atrocious. I, I can't really get around it. It's some of the worst I've ever seen in a theater. The level of emotion that's being portrayed through the actors for these characters just doesn't correlate with the way the film's being made. The film feels kind of slow at first, like it's building the suspense of what's happening, but everyone else is always freaking out and screaming and yelling and crying and getting all shivery and tense and just just way over the top to the point where it's just kind of not working at all for this film. The movie also makes no logical sense. The guy who's on the phone messing with these kids is able to control virtually every electronic device in their house. He's like a master hacker. He can send past recorded footage into their television to play right in front of them. He can access their webcam on their computer. As I already said, he can control every light bulb in their house. It's absurd, and after a while, it just got laughable. I saw a director who was trying to make a film better than the script he was handed. Perhaps this was one of his first big opportunities and he just wanted to do his best, and I feel like he was trying, really. And I do actually feel like everyone involved with this was trying their best. But it's sad that the end product will never be good if what's on the page isn't. And the stuff that happens in this script is so comically absurd to the point where I was just rolling my eyes towards the last 30 minutes and I was hoping it would end soon. It also opens with this big music video style montage introducing all of the characters who run this prank website. And they introduce like seven or eight people by name with these big titles where their name comes across the screen, yet less than half of these characters play any significant role in the movie. 
So I'm wondering why all of them had to have a big introduction in the beginning, because as soon as that intro was over, they completely forget about all of those characters and focus on essentially two of them. So we have a comically absurd villain who can control all electronic devices in their house. We have some very awful performances, a terrible script that makes absolutely no sense, a couple good ideas, the concept alone I like, and an attempt to make a film better than what was on that page. I can see the director really trying, but in the end, the end product of this film was very bad, and that's unfortunate. I'm gonna give Don't Hang Up a D minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to this Sunday. I'm gonna have my review of X-Men 2 posted. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.